It's Sister Wives Season 8 Episode 1, otherwise known as the longest episode ever. Oh, should I put my hair down? I cut it. Freak. You're so weird. <laughs> I trimmed it a little. Anyway, so good to be back. So good to be with my Twitter people. So much fun. Um, this was a really, really long episode. I've been kind of dreading it because I turned on the, like, return to the season thing, which seemed to be the recap from last year. And every time Cody opened his mouth, I just wanted to just throat punch him. He's just, you know, they always talk about the family, the family, the family. But for Cody, the family just means Cody. How do I feel? How does this affect me? He doesn't really care all that much. It's just, it's always through the vein of, well, how does this affect me? And so I just, so anyway, we have the opening sequence, which they really need to update. Because when she's like, I like living this lifestyle. And then they have a whole episode about how she tried to <laughs> run away. You're like, you might want to update that whole spiel now that all the cracks are showing. So uh, to kind of catch you up, if you've fallen off of the face of the earth and have never seen the show, um, at the end of last season, I mean, it's been clear that Mary has been checked out for about a season. It's been totally, and Cody's like, well, I don't know what's going on. We had some problems, but I don't know. And it's like, she's clearly been checked out. She had got involved with someone online who was saying how wonderful she was and how great, was giving her all the attention as she sat alone in her house. Um... You know, because Mariah's moving out, who apparently we'll get to later this season, and I'll have some words now that she's an adult. Um, I don't when they're when they're under eighteen. I try to be really respectful of the fact that I feel like they've been forced into this. Uh, so I try not to talk about it, but she's an adult now, so I will talk about it. But um, anyway, Mary started talking to someone, thought it was a man. Turns out it was a woman, a, a very mentally unstable woman. Uh, because I can't think of a legitimate reason other than maybe espionage for government secrets why someone would catfish someone else like this. Um, I think it was probably someone who was just excited to have this power over someone that they get to see on TV. <clears throat> anyway, so that all happened. It came out, and they're going to try to deal with it. So it's a two-hour episode. So let's start it off. Of course, so they don't start off the episode like that. They start off the episode... What were we going to hear about? Robin's had another baby. And then they talk about where well, they're going to put the crib. two seasons ago, he said he wasn't going to have any more kids. Right. Well, when he told Mary that he they were done having kids and she wanted to have fertility treatment and he said no, and then Robin had two more kids. <laughs> or one more kid or something. Well, yeah. two now. Yeah, but I think it was, I think he said that after Robin had her first kid and then she got pregnant. And then she wanted a second kid, and we're like, wait, hold on. You told Mary you didn't want any more kids. And they had all agreed. Anyway, but doesn't, you know, Robin, Ro there's Robin rules, and there's the rest of the family rules. Um, <laughs> anyway, so they talk for five minutes about where, how Solomon has to share a room, and where the crib might go. It was like literally ten minutes. And I was like, are you kidding me? This is why we have a two-hour episode. But then we got to see Maddie, and that was, that was awesome. Pretty awful. Maddie's was awesome. She came back. She's engaged to this nice guy. Um, I think he's a Christian, like a Protestant Christian, because I don't know. I'm not totally sure, but his I think, sister was married to Cody's brother, and that brother was Christian, and the I'm wife sure was Christian. I'm sure they really care. Uh, well, anyway, he got engaged. She's moving up there. And then, of course, rather than just going and following Maddie where her best friend gets to meet her fiancé and we get to hear cute stories, Cody's like, I'm going with you. And I was like, I don't want you going with them. Like, this is, this is, I was looking forward to this. And so he goes and just invites himself. And then he inserts himself immediately into the conversation. Well, what you should have said is this. And I'm like, will you shut your big fat face and let the most interesting thing that's happened in eight seasons of the show happen? So anyway, they drive all the way up there and then drive all the way back, and they drop them off and everything. Anyway, I wish Maddie and Caleb have a nice time, and if they're smart, all of the kids will stay off of Twitter, because it's a horrible place for you. Um, then we get into the second hour of the show, which felt like an eternity, and she talks in therapy. And, you know, somebody pointed out on Twitter, they probably should have therapy more than once a season. 
Like, like every other day. Like every other day. And then it's all this weird stuff. Like Robin goes, well, for about six or eight months, I was thinking that Mary was either having an affair or something was going on. And I'm like, for six to eight months, you thought she was having an affair and just didn't say anything? And then... Then she said Mary came over and talked to her, and and she, and Mary said she was talking to a man, and Robin's like, well, that was pretty common knowledge at that point. And I'm like, what is going on? Like, for this family that's supposedly co-existing and living together and trying to convince us all the time about how great this lifestyle is, there's a whole lot of things not adding up. Did you want to add anything? Nope. I'm really worked up about this episode. Really? I can't tell. I know. So anyway, and this is this is something that bugs me, is that everybody's talking about the family. And they always talk about the family. The family. I don't want to have, I don't have individual relationships with my wife that I have a family. But then, when Cody talks, it's always about me. Well, you did this to me. And everybody else is talking about the family and we and us. And he's like, me, 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 me. And I'm like, why doesn't... Me, 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 me. But, like, why does not like, I feel like, this, I feel like, first of all, I feel like this therapist is useless. The guy from Sesame Street? Yeah, I got it. I oh. got it. Very good, honey. Thank you for contributing. <laughs> but I feel like the therapist is never, like, I've gone to a therapist. My mom, my mom and I had such problems we went to a therapist. And he was very good, but he would occasionally stop and be like, well, did you hear what the other person said? Or, wait, wait, uh, let them speak in this term, or something. But she's always like, just... No, 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 And I'm like, okay, whatever. Um, what else did I want to say? And then Cody's like, oh, we've had issues for a while. And I thought, maybe you should have dealt with them then. Maybe. It's like, you know, people are like, well, I don't understand. And then, okay, so Janelle was not the most sympathetic, but she was cracking me up because they kept cutting to her. First of all, they kept cutting to Cody. And I was like, I don't care. I don't need to see everything co through Cody's lens. Like, this is not... If it was, like, 10% Cody, I still think it would be too much. Like, we need to cut it way down with him <laughs> and show the kids and the other wives more. Janelle is the most interesting to me, and she says, like, two words an episode, and I'm like, ah! Oh. But they cut to Janelle, and she's just like... And you know she's thinking, what the is going on around here? Like, what is going on? And then... <laughs> Then she's like, okay, so let me get this straight. This guy says, oh, he loves you. And you're like, oh, no. Ooh. And, she, and Mary's like, no, no, I was really flattered. And Janelle's like, huh, okay then. You know, and I know in her head she's thinking, and this is why I talk to my kids about cyber safety. Like, this is why I talk to my kids about predators or whatever. Because I, I just wish I could have been in her head because I feel like it would have been so much more interesting <laughs> than, than what we actually saw. And, and I get it. See, so this is, no one's asking for my opinion on polygamy, but this is what I think. I don't think, I know there's people, and there's a lot of polygamists, I've actually met more than I really care. To admit. To admit, I guess. I don't know, that's not really the right word. But, um, I just don't think that human beings are really meant to, like, I don't think it's really meant that, like, a woman should be happy getting a man 25% of the time. Expected to give her all to him when he needs it. And then, in return, she gets, like, every fourth night, and then him constantly running off to Robin's house to help her with every little thing. So, I, I on that hand, I'm not at all surprised. I don't think there's anything, in my opinion, weird about the fact that Mary was feeling neglected and alone and unloved. Um, but, Talking. she... I know, it's like, to me, I go, yeah, I think anyone in that case, and I think that's exactly what um, Christine's struggling with, too. Um... Anyway, that being said, though, she didn't break the covenant. Like, like he's like, oh, I don't consider it emotional infidelity. And I'm like, okay, well, then I don't know what you consider emotional infidelity. She full-on fell in love sex. with someone. I don't, I, you know, she, they never really discussed that. But, I mean, the point is that she fell in love with someone. He's like, well, I don't think you can fall in love with someone you don't meet. Okay, Grandpa. Like, you know? Anyway. I, I just, this is way too long of a recap, but I'm just so worked up. Way oh, too long of a show. Should I mention? No. Okay. A little late now. Do this. Should I do it? Because then I can just blame everything on pregnancy hormones for the next six and a half months. Even though you were exactly like you were. No, it was totally other different. Recap. Anyway, okay. We'll see you next week. Hit me up in the comments.